hello, hello. Apparently I never closed the game. So good job, me. What in the absolute fuck is making noise? Well, okay then, Clive. Turn around. So I can't go that way. The fuck do I go? Oh, this is a new area. And that's a spoiler.
right, well, hopefully, I'm not just talking to air. This might take a while. Okay, then. The fields of Carava. I'm sorry, what? Did that thing just get healed? It's this thing is healing.
Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Not a scratch on them. These hides will fetch a good price. How are those new boots treating you? No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Why won't the sky go back to how it was? I don't... Those Cyril fellows are not fish, don't you think? Well, scholarly sorts like him always are, aren't they? Sorry. The engravings were in good repair, considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen them for myself. Oh, come. Don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Uh, what did it say? Oh, God. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother's <laughs> But oh, whatever could have driven the guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder. Uh, the <laughs> to the north, I, I did not pay attention to the order I read these in. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the... <laughs> Children of the Hunters, now sworn to serve the sun. Sun worship? That cannot possibly be right. I could have sworn it was something like that. Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land. Reap her promised blessing 
and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so we add primitive mm. peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in Asia. Why do I need to know this? Wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, farmers. I don't know if Malavin's lurking, but it was so difficult to I went to take the trash out, and a cicada got in. One cannot help but wonder why this is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here, yeah, and thank you. All right, I've done this ridiculous quest. Now maybe you'll leave me alone. All right, back to where we were going before that ridiculous cat. Also, where's the merchant? I have goblin coins to sell you. It's a deal. Ah, not bad. Got anything else for me? It's a deal. <gasps> no, I didn't want to sell that shit. I totally spaced out and... Got anything else for me? Oh, that's how you do it. I messed that up. Wow, I sold stuff I really didn't want to. Take care. Oh wait, didn't I? Take a look at my wares. I did use a potion. Come again. Well, hello, Kelly. How are you? Oh my god, if you say I could have gone here this way, I'm going to absolutely yell. <sighs> I hate this. Hi, Kelly. What were y'all doing? Did you ever get the duckies on their way? Should I go this way? I've got to go that way. So, how did you have to get the duckies on their way? Out of curiosity. Also, I didn't want to put this in chat, but I, uh... I went to take the trash out and make something to eat. And, um, a cicada got inside. And I was like, well, time to burn the building down. I can't go that way, son of a biscuit. Well.
but how? What was the? How did you wind up getting them across? Hold on. Well, thank you for the raid. Anyone who doesn't know me from the Upper Geek stream, um, I'm Cipher. I do a lot of variety, but lately my variety has been this game and Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate you. I have only one way to go. <laughs> oh, I am dying? Kelly. I mean, this is this is all side quest stuff, Kelly. So if you want to watch, I'm not back on main story yet. Well, I guess I'm. I. Oh, and shit, he's higher level than me? <laughs> yes, please eat. Thank you to whoever did the shout out, unless you gave yourself one, Kelly. <laughs> that fucking poison mist. <gasps> Jesus. Dude is beating my ass like I owe him money. Jesus. 
Jesus. That was a whole lot. Hey, Seven. Oh, I ran into him by accident just now, Seven. I had not planned to see this man. I don't even know where he came from. I think he's one of the hidden uh, things on the board. One of the ones that was still a question mark. You know what? We're just going to go. I was not trying to fight you. Goodbye. I just got an entire ass beaten. I'm trying to leave. <sighs> hey, Pete. Dude whooped my ass like I owed him money. Thank you for your resub for 10 months. Are y'all fighting them things? Why? Why are you fighting? I was trying to mind my business. Oh, and I should have gone the other way anyway. Whoops. But hi everyone, how are you? Yeah, I came back a little later than I planned. So, new goal, don't engage with the with the Storm Panther because it keeps healing itself. How, I don't know. Seven, did you run into the Storm Panther out here? I was fighting it and it just kept healing. And I have no idea. Right? Like, I was just running by. Also, if you hear me scream and drop the controller, it'll be because the cicada that came inside, if I see it, I shouldn't see it. I trapped it between the, the inside and outside kitchen doors. Um, I shouldn't see it. But if you just hear a scream and I and everything falling, it's because I saw the cicada. Yeah, but it's a it's a storm panther. I thought it was a curl at first. But I could not ignore the trash anymore. I had to take it out. Since there was fruit. Since there was, like, fruit trash in it, I couldn't ignore it. Because I was getting the, you know, the gnats you get when you've got, like, fruit or something in the trash. And so I was like, okay, the trash needs to go out. Nope. I don't even know if that's Navis, dude's out of luck. And now I really want to open the back door just so I can get that cicada out. But what if it's not dead? You ever like think a bug is dead and it's not? Oh, really? 
I've got to burn the place down is what you mean. Did that cicada beat my ass? Not cicada, oh my god, I got cicadas on the brain. <laughs> Look, Leaf, if I see that thing come out, somehow get from between the two doors... It's gonna be a wrap. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm dying. <laughs> These aren't even that hard. They're like seven levels below me now, but they're beating my ass. Even though it was cicada season. How the fuck did I parry a giant mosquito? Someone make that make sense. Are you the last one? Oh my god, how did I miss you? <laughs> yeah, they are. For a split second, and this is gonna sound gross, I thought maybe it was a water bug. And it was like under the trash bag and I just didn't notice it until I picked the trash bag up. Oh no, that was... A cicada. Damn, we have to go and buy potions somewhere. I guess so. I was like, how do I parry? How did I parry a bug? That was the creature I had to fight. It's just gonna have to wait. You no, know we're going home first. Cause that was an ass beaten. Like, why? Why did I get an ass beaten like that? Don't Google it. Oh no, why? I don't care, lady. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tails plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lost off the flesh, but me, I always want for gold. To satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every crime, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said it'd give me access to a realm where community of like minded individuals in constant. <laughs> Sorry. Was that the first time you met Sid? And I fell right into his damn trap. 
They were true to Sorry. You know when you see a bug and then you think anything touching you might be that bug? It's nice you see why I was like, well, guess I gotta move now. Told me about his plan to topple the mother crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. Not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say, that I have never been happier. You've all shown me that something is more precious than Gil. So don't you go messing with me. Or you'll have me to answer to. Like, I just wanted to buy some potions, lady. I'm sorry, what? That great lump. Oh, he might not be the brightest crystal in the crate. No. If you're going to buy some, be quick about it. Damn, I use all my potions. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Hmm. Increases limit regeneration when taking damage. me blind you know is that all <laughs> mm, well cicadas are also once every 16 year infestation Ugh. I bought a diamond sword plus one. This is annoying. I bought that diamond sword. Goots, you goof.
Your lad's worth double that. <sighs> and I've never looked back. Wow, oh, that's fucked up. Alright, let's get a north reach. I wanted to go. I got you, fair. Also, I'm glad that I did go out briefly because, sweet Jesus. It's a road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. It is. It's one of the. It's that heat where you go outside and you immediately hate life. this man be yep and you come back in and you're just like it's kind of heat that makes you go there, I am pretty sure there's no god Stay right there, whilst I absolutely have to fight you. And all I did was go downstairs, take the trash out. I did circle around so I could avoid... I literally came around the back and was like, I am not about to uh, open this door and possibly step on um, Okay, who's a Dragon Age fan on this team? It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? Yes. Uh, yes. yes the Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all around me was a pommel to the temple. <sighs> South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You heard back to my speech. Visit the veil. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. Okay, but if they took his valuables, why is he still wearing rings? They just couldn't resist, could they? This 
one's ours, pretty boy. Jesus, Joshua. Well, that was certainly a noise. Good boy. Targle's the goodest boy. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, Traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the veil. Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I'll survive. Strange that the garrison have been taken in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. What's some big apples? And even fewer to transport the grain. The market store It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a cross. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I've got to. I shall send a bestolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. Some people will literally retweet anything, won't they? Sorry, something I tweeted a couple days ago. Those acoustic things, no thank you. Bear, if you're still around, or others, 
You ever notice that most people will literally retweet just about any fucking thing? And they retweet it so quickly, you know that there's no way they actually read it. Like, I've, I've shared articles and stuff. People immediately retweet, and I'm like, there is no way you read that whole article that quickly. location of traders and with it a constant flow of information speaking of which i received word from both my associates they have resumed their investigations thanks to you i only happen to be in the right place for that time. they both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim i am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish. As it is mine. Oh my god, the name is a pun. Let's just go to Canver. I do not... I do not want to deal with that creature. Let me check my... Let's save... I kind of wanted to end a pirate to see if it would cheer him up at all. I meant to go to the map. Not that. All right, let's go. What I hate is that since the game is Oh, let me take that marker off the map because I ain't doing that right now. It's a side quest. And that creature is way too much work right now. The free cities and a sea. The Gilded Path. I also, in addition to recording for Crit Awards, should I win? I need to record some Baldur's Gate uh, character creation. Oh, 
well. I need that to be much faster. It charges so slow. I see them. I feel silly just floating around. Damn, it's still going. Oh boy. Oh, I love Mega Flare when it works, but it takes so long to charge. Clive. Smoke. No oh, shit. Actually, Confer's new. Have you ever been to Conver? Sid's daughter's supposed to be here, but. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. It's only taken me several side quests to get there. I wonder if someone's done a map of the actual distances you travel. Oh. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. What the fuck? What the? My boy. Uncle Byron. Aww. You know how hard it is for characters to actually hug? Akashic are being controlled. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. 
But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not a bad. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? Local. Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. Quickly. <coughs> what do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district. Why, you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. And what of us? Uh, the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. If we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself in trouble. Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you're stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Hey, Zero. And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. How's the uh, post packing up the office going? Or the lab, I should say. Evan Fall. Let's find I mean, it's just me and Torgal again. Do not like that. Well, if the game would stop me from moving. Oh shit! Okay, cool. I guess that's what we're doing. Help me, boy. Help me, boy.
Yo, could you maybe not? Okay, cool. Yes, get that parry. Oh, good, a potion back. Oh, great. More of them. Who's casting magic? Wow, they really actually say orcish fodder. Nothing left out here. Now I have no idea what's coming because this is something I Come on, Torgal. You, I need you to heal me. I wish Torgal could heal you outside of combat. Mother of God! You know what? You are annoying me. Well, so much for that idea. To me, boy. Well. Not a, oh gee, I am stuck in this corner. What the fuck? Game, let me out of this 
fucking corner. This is a tight space for fighting something that size! Just for good measure. Jesus. Okay, look at this axe. Look at this. That axe is bigger than me. And somehow, I survived getting impaled on it. many of you motherfuckers are there? What in the absolute fuck? game really paused me to level me up. Okay, I thought I saw. Okay, I've gotten everything out of here. <laughs> right? I don't like that I've got to kill animals. Oh, this motherfucker. Mother God. <laughs> Not 
this motherfucker actually oh no okay cool You are getting Mega Flare. <sighs> okay, or maybe not. Jesus. That was a whole lot. Where did what come from? His attack or my attack? First time, oh. Hold, please. There's something I can... What is it I can master? There's something I need a 2000 for. Oh, I did not realize that that restored my HP. Oh, I don't know zero, but I sure didn't like it. Yeah. Not me trying to electrocute the door. Oh shit. Y'all know what this big open arena means. Something's about to attack me. Oh, it's like that? Cool.
Oh, it's like that cool. Thank you for the raid. What the fuck is this? No less from you, Muthos. Welcome, raiders. Uh. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt, and now you're here. <laughs> the Kashyyyk thralls. Field. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. That one half, the half braided hair is killing me. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am safe man of House Harbor. And you will yield. Slept near. Where is he? Where is he? Annoy me. It's gonna be an annoying fight. How are you, bastard? Up to you, DC. I love that Clive cusses when he's in the middle of a fight. Seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. The fuck. 
I'm like, who the fuck are you talking to? You are way too excited about this. Oh shit! Finally! Come on, let me get Giga Flare in before the stagger breaks. You Sonic the Hedgehog looking motherfucker. Shit out of me! Is he? Way too excited for this fight. No, sir. It's going.
Take that parry, bitch. I remember I can't tank this shit. Oh yes. <sighs> On oh, Mega Flare actually hit him. Maker above. The vessel is strong. My leash. There's something wrong with him. Were you? I could have used the Phoenix. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. This is just for Mythos. Nothing. I hope. If he gets back up, I quit. <gasps> Holy shit! What in the absolute fuck? What just cut the building in half? Leaving so soon? <sighs> Okay, Barnabas. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Damn, he just picked up the. I gotta fight you right now. I just fought Slepnir. I have a feeling this is gonna be cinematic and we're not ready. Because he's about. Oh, he's doing the kung fu, use his own energy against him thing. Yeah, we're gonna get an ass beaten. He's doing the like. I expected more of the boy, Commander. To see why my master covets you so, the power within you, Mythos. Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. 
to surrender my mind and body to that thing. Uh, I need some download on that. I have no idea what you're talking about, Zero. I was thinking more like classic kung fu movies. Your Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends. Ah. To my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to... What? To yes! Your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Is he gonna prime? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! Oh, shit! I don't know. I was gonna say I don't think so, but I can't tell. He's kind of that beige. <gasps> He's that video game beige where you're never sure what ethnicity someone is. Except why she gotta be blonde when she changes to Shiva? Power and they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Like she's a brunette. Our ship. We're getting our ship. The Enterprise. Will you be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up. <laughs> this place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. I wonder what we were up to. They'd all want a piece. <laughs> all right. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've always <laughs> done so much Pouring your gill into the, the ship. I don't want to take the piss. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. <laughs> you got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Clive! You're awake. My boy! Oh. All I want to do is go. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. 
Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Heyer wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. <gasps> what do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. I'm sorry, what? If our icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad'll have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Clive, sit the fuck down. Jesus, Clive. Ah, here we go. More story lock. Like, you are hurting. Oh, Karen has something new. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. <gasps> yes! You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You're not going to have to curse me that. Now I'm glad I was stingy with my money. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. And I forgot I had elixirs. You'll not find a better price than that. Can I get some new clothes? I've been wearing the same outfit all game. What do you want? Not bad. If I do say so myself. No scratches, right? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. What do you mean I don't have enough Desert Rose? That it? You better have Desert Rose for sale. I'm gonna be cross with you, lady. It's a dangerous world out there. She's 
she doesn't have desert rose. Come again. Ah. I'm not much bothered either way. If it's knowledge you seek. Desert Rose, are you sure? Clive. Go on then. Oh my god. You'll not find a better price than that. Thank you. I absolutely missed it. So what do I owe the honor? <sighs> yeah, that should do you. That it? I have all this new shit, and yet... The game is not changing my clothes. I've been in the same fucking outfit since we got here. I've been in the same armor for like 10 years. I trust you wrapped up warm. Still no idea what that is. Right? I'm used to Final Fantasy games letting you change clothes at some point. Clive! Here you go. Always something in there. Well, I don't expect that kind of stuff, Nestor. But if all my other... If my gear is changing, and I'm forging new things at the blacksmith, my the look of my gear has not changed. My sword is the only thing that changes. If you're in... Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. <sighs> you not don't do things by halves, do you? <laughs> still breathing. As for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be sitting under a pile of... <laughs> We were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Great, I'm starting to get weird follows on Blue Sky. Love that for me. He's trying. All right, time to. to hit the workshop or Sid's old space. So 
sorry, I'm a bit warm, I guess. The AC is the AC is running, but this looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. I don't know, she might want her old man's pipes. Just a thought. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. Of course, Sid tucks something inside the doll. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. I just realized. Please tell me Mid is all right. It just occurred to me, Sid's daughter isn't named Cindy or a take on Sid. Or is but Mididol's such an odd name. Not my doll. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was. <laughs> so that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. And that's fine, just I can't hear mid at all. I can't hear mid. I just something about being called mid is bugging me. Oh my god, these fucking kids. See? Probably dead. All right, out of the way. If they're in this hideout, their kid their parents are probably dead. Nice creak of leather. Caught. I'm part of the gear. 
is. Did you break it? No, you did that. No, I mean, yeah, yes. That's the first time he sounded annoyed with these kids. How about now? You fixed it. You said fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. All right, have a good dinner. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Sid? Oh, Sid. Oh my god. Clive has no ass and no bulge. Not like he needs to be pronounced, shall we say, but nobody in this game just the two I was looking for hi hi who's a patient actually yes the crown prince just left Dion left where the f walked off yes left he did have the decency to leave a message with obelisk before commandeering his demons no. We're not the prince's keepers. He did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Where the fuck did Dion go? I forgot about Dion because the game forgot about Dion. The flagship sails. I have to get back. Cole said it was an army of Akashi. Where the fuck? She can't kick this. Glory to Griga. There you are. And not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in death. I just saw her. Too hard. She literally... Will you talk to her? Or do you if that's what it takes? Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. We literally just saw her. I know better than to order Ty to do anything, but I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. She literally just saw me in the infer. Well, Ty, yeah. Rodrigo. <laughs> this is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... It says you? I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. I think it's a little late for whoever that is. 
crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. Surely, there must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forest mm -hmm. near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. I have to go get a s preserve a spider's eye? Really? I... Oh my god, I gotta go. There's more blacksmith blues? Make it above. Alright, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... And you want my advice? <laughs> So, I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. Is he gonna propose? Obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe. again well i suppose there's no point leaving him to stew cheers clive i'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as i have a moment all right i'll meet you by the forge then you come along when you're ready all right i'm going to leave Clive there for a hot second as I need a quick bio. I need something to drink as well because I've finished my wine. And I'll be back shortly. Moderators, you have the calm.
<clears throat> I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Here we go. What's everyone else been up to? Any plans for the weekend? again. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Oh, no, it's fair. Do you want to drop a link? Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. Yeah. said. Right. It brought back some... Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. Zoltan? Back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I mean, seen him in the and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. Today was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought. I need this man to get over his imposter syndrome. It was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even off. So? So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Very good. Uh, <clears throat> go and pay him a visit. Learn his secret. I oh, doubt no, he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Oh. <clears throat> the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. <laughs> We need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. Oh my god. Where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? I'm surprised they got away with it. <laughs> Just north of the fields of Karava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravos as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. He's a surly soaker. Who cares less for us than the oil?
Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. This is why... It's a single vine from an ordinary mobile. That is correct. A single vine. <laughs> I fear ordinary may not suffice. Habit, a most extraordinary specimen, is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, what is concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do. As do I. Now, where did I put my watering? At the rate people are giving me side quests, I don't think I'm ever going to get to the end of this game. That's assuming the game even lets me do any of this side shit right now. That I'm not map locked. If it's knowledge you seek. Oh, the game did not lock me, okay. Yep, no, that's still there.
I get out that way? No. The Undying are at your service, my lord. As bearer of the burning quill. To which end? Alas. <laughs> Till next we meet. Well, that was useless. Sorry, I'm just super focused on trying to find my map marker. Would you all care if we didn't finish this today? Well, that didn't work. All right. Shit. I went that way. It goes the way that I went the wrong way because I can't figure out directions. The free cities and a sea.
this one. Sorry, I'm like just basically kind of, not zoned out, but really focused on what I'm doing. Kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely... I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just. Oh, nice. Don't go start. Uh, did you get your prescription in them, or more is like other ones? Black ones, like I left my forge. That good enough for you? Okay, Black a little bit caked up though. Everybody else has like no ass. Much obliged. I still can't believe they got away with using the name Zoltan. This is Travoshed. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. Ah. I was a lad. You have to shout to the hour with the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. We'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Oh my god. Uh... Well, if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? Kid, I got bad news for you. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you. When you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. 
I could help with your forge, you fuck face, but let... But okay. Right? I would have just called fire to my hand and been like, you want to say that again? Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoged. Sultan, the burden of leadership has to drop to the house. All of it. There are two kinds of sniffs in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who will labour on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? There's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackfoot. Right. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this... Be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Oh my god, uh... Oh, oh no, did you get our weather fair? Uh, all right then. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, then. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just very tired of fetch quests. If I wanted to play an MMO, I'd play an MMO.
Let's make this quick, shall we? Wow. Welcome back, Fair. thing is fucking dead. How's the pupper? I dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. Still plenty of fight in him yet. Oh my god, finally. <sighs> I 
finally got that Avis skin. Excuse me. This thing reeks. The sooner it's off my hands, the better. What's this all about, then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Be damned! I honestly didn't think it'd work! But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah! Dravoged is saved! Sorry about earlier. I, uh, I take back everything I said. That thing you've built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer. Which Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare Oh my god, would you two just talk to each other and kiss? Sleepless nights at the Amber will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed, but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first, and that's not gonna happen. Jesus, these people all need therapy. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges to But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I call that a job well done. <laughs> I need Blackthorn to get... <laughs> so why don't you head off? See that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. I need you two to get your shit together. Where's this dude that wanted the skin? Here's your hide. As requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Is this who I just talked to? Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek. Yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. 
Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming. There is. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning. It's not even six o'clock. Ah, Clive. Just a man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence <coughs> after the Russian attack? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build him a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put him? There just ain't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And I didn't just that. There's players to think about, too. There's been more and more of them coming <laughs> from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what we just need to If it ain't too much... <laughs> It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner. If my boys didn't already have their hands full, fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own, too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. Oh, I have to set up. I almost tapped out. <laughs> I 
I need to stand up. One second. I don't know what it is. It's something about... It's something about this game. Hospitality has its limits. So, Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me. That's right. Though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that- Oh, no. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. Well, that's gonna either be tragedy or comedy or both. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the occasion <sighs> force could end up trapped between a rock and a pull and deal with the bandits. I think I'm gonna stand up and make a quick sandwich. I don't know if you were here earlier, Nestor. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well? Oh, when I took my food break, I didn't order anything. I meant to go make a sandwich, and I took the trash out. You go on ahead. We'll be <sighs> However... When I went... Victory await our coming. To take the trash out, a cicada got in. And it's currently trapped between the interior and exterior kitchen door. It looked dead when I came back, but I don't trust that. Because cicadas are disgusting. So it's trapped there, so I can never leave out of the back door again. It looked dead. What I'm hoping... Well, here's the thing. Wherever it was, I never heard it. And I've been in the apartment for... Four hours... I think it was dead or dying. I've been in the kitchen and it has not crawled out and it was on its back and not moving when I came back in. Feel free to laugh at me, but I did... I did come around the long way, come into the apartment 
and slam the kitchen door closed. Just to be sure. But of course I had a broom and spray in case it was not where I left it. But it was. It looked quite dead. And I haven't heard anything out of the kitchen. So... Nope, because that fucker's staying right there. But I am going to get up and make a quick sandwich. Um... I'm going to leave you all with photo mode to stare at Sir Rossfield. And this very gloomy sky. Enjoy photo mode. I'll be right back. I decided to bring you all in the kitchen with me. So, should I have to scream and run away, you all can bear witness. Slash, I don't want to be in here alone if I do see a fucking cicada. But I'm pretty sure it's not in the kitchen. I haven't heard anything. And, oh no. Sorry, nectar a nectarine I just bought has already gone moldy. Like, I just got these two days ago. And one of them is, like, visibly moldy. Well, so much for that.
Guess I better eat the other ones quickly. Why does fruit not last? Someone explain this. I'm also uh, trying to be quick about this. Okay, I'm glad I got up because this music really is going to put me to sleep. Oh good, I've got one more liquid death water. I'm back at the console. Oh, hi, Panda. No, that's fine. I uh, was walking around. I went to go make a sandwich. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Yeah, I stepped away because I was starting to fall asleep. I don't know what a cicada killer is. Not sure what you mean by that. So I'm sure if you mean another bug that's worse than a cicada, absolutely not. Ah. Uh, Don't bother. Gotcha.
That's the end of that then. Oh, come on. Uh, I will die, literally. Because I am allergic to bees and hornets. Yeah, that's not really helpful. I don't know why that's something you would say. That's not funny or cute. That's just weird. I'm sorry, what? How did you go from two scoops to Raisin Bran? I'm really lost. Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Oh, I didn't like Raisin Bran, so I wouldn't know. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Uh. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me. Without masters? No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own. That place must be haunted as fuck. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. Right? sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Randy, hello. Lady Hannah is buried here. Oh, I see the bond is broken. Join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more. You have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. I think the bot's broken because... Time to go and tell Martha the good news. When I spoke in Kelly's chat earlier, I, I was also playing API Error. So, hello Mandy, how was your day? 
API is the most popular game. I don't know why we get API. Uh, Mandy, well, I think I dropped it in Mafia chat, but I have a cicada now in the kitchen. I don't like cicadas. First things first, we'll need to get a few of these roofs seen to. Wouldn't want to be caught in a storm without any shelter. No, thank you. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Mm -mm. No. Cicadas are disgusting. I do not want the cicada reproducing. Absolutely not, ma'am. Look, there's even a chocobo for you. Mm-mm, cicada, cicadas are nasty. I think it died. It was flat on its back when I closed the door on it. What's all this about? Some shape-shifting nightmare showing up. On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters did it. And now we can build our new village. Mandy, did you buy any Chocobo minis when we were at PAX? Or do you remember the name of that company? There's plenty of in place, but that don't want to do the good that in there. No need to throw the baby out with the bath. Good way to say that. Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool. I bought a couple. I'm thinking about next weekend. I was thinking about bringing those chocobos. Priming them this weekend before... Thank you, Martha. I was gonna prime them in black. Didn't have to help us. Well, we're gonna try to get Kelly to paint minis. So, let's see if Pirate is still coming. Um, but I was gonna put together a little paint bundle. Cause I've got the cases that the um, WizKids paint came in and that's actually perfect for travel. I'm trying not to check a bag, but I might have to check a bag. Oh, the shop has something new, eh? I've, I've primed one chocobo, but I haven't actually painted it. Oh, do you? There you go. Much obliged. Hey, Steven. Thanks for the raid. Hello. How is power washing going? It's because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin. It don't mean we have. I'm trying to finish this game. Are you still on the pyramid? Choose a mercy. Oh my god, how long was your stream today? And you did just the temple? But thank you for the raid. Uh, slowly. I'm getting every fetch quest known to man. I don't have to do them. But I'm also tired. As you know, our time grows short. 
The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. Strike now. But welcome, Raiders. For those I may not know, from Steven's community, uh, Cypher, Terror Team Cypher that Steven is part of, and I'm trying to get the Final Fantasy 14, 16, oh my god, it said 14, uh, tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. There's way more story left than I thought. And it is all that I have lived for. But what of Lost Wing? Everything you've built. I built Lost Wing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will serve its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight. It's game day, and we're supposed to play with our co workers. I have not talked to a co worker all day. Children. Terrors afflicted by the curse. I would place Lost Wing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live even should Lost Wing die. Sure. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of. Hey, Kalita, how are you? Away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. I... am here. I don't know if you saw Kalita, but I've taken a day job. Excuse me. Uh, so I've been busy with that. Now, can I get out of here? Nope. I goofed. Good, it's been busy. It's about to get busier. But it's weird to work in a place where when people say that hey we want you to take care of you first they actually mean it Well, I went the wrong way, I think. Um, yes and no. I mean, it's fun because we're making a game, but also I have been in more meetings in this job than I have ever been in academia. My life right now is spreadsheets. Making games is not fu fun until you get to the end, I think. Well, I goofed. I went entirely the wrong way. Oh, I'm going to get so lost. Hey, Laura, thanks for the raid. Were you Pikmining again? Welcome on in, everybody. We got back-to-back -back raids. Unfortunately, I cannot give you a raid video because I'm streaming direct off my console. Oop. Made a left turn to Albuquerque. Welcome. Yeah, we're trying to get to the end of Final Fantasy 16. It's not happening. Uh, my name's Cypher. I do a lot of variety. But today's variety is this. Um, okay, finally going the right way. I know you're all afraid. Oh, nice. Yeah, last time I caught your stream, you were playing Pikmin. <coughs> I'm 
excuse me. The welcome in Raiders. Get cozy. Laura, have you pl did you play this at all, or did you pass on reviewing it? I don't remember seeing you or Stephanie uh, posting about it. Oh, and Laura, if you get a chance, or if you remember, if it's not too late in the evening, can you remind me of what your business email is? Can you all hear that? Interesting. I, uh, my issue is, is with the slavery as plot. Was it that the, was it the accessories? And using that as an accessibility thing? I've got just your personal email. Ugh, spider eyes. Won't be enough. Rodrigo will have prepared the other ingredients by now. All right, Rodrigo can. Get his spider eye when I feel like going back. I have not really changed my equipment much other than letting the game give me what's best if I get stuff and then don't update it. I'm the worst at updating my gear, but I was also... Well, there's an... It's very Witcher-like in that there's no people of color, which... With the slavery subplot, I'm kind of glad for, honestly. Um, but we get that same kind of Witcher treatment of we don't see people of color till we get to this faux Mediterranean slash, well, not even Mediterranean, faux Middle Eastern area. And, uh, and those are the only brown people we encounter. And they're all not great people, which I really hate. <laughs> yeah. Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We yeah, there. It, it's very like The Witcher, where you hear you talk to Zeracanians, but they're they're clearly not to be trusted. Yada yada. You don't get to see Zeracania. But in this game, you at least get to go to you, Dalamil. But it's the one place we encounter brown people and they're not they're not great. You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck. Fuck fuck. What's wrong? 
We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just a black shield protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. Well, the ga that's an interesting thing because the wolves get to take care of them. No matter what you do, the wolves kill them. I would have preferred to kill him. Sid, don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. And it's like the wolf. Why do the wolves get to kill them? That's and it happens off screen. We can see the bodies of the bears those wolves have killed. It's way over to the east. I think he he's growing as the game goes on. Promise us you'll do what you can. So funny you say that, Kalita, because the devs of this said that Game of Thrones was an influence. Which, I don't know how I feel about. Oh wow, everybody's raiding. Hello, hello. How was the panel, Frank? Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. Oh, I don't want to deal with these things. Goodbye. Hey, bye and peace. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, but welcome on in, Frank. How was the panel today? Uh, for those that didn't know, uh, Technique, Omega, Connie, and Stella Luna did a series on mental health and TTRPGs that was on Frank's channel. Uh, all the VOD should be there, yeah? And I see your message, Laura. I will grab that before I get away from this computer. Hey, Winter! And uh, Frank, if you want to put a link to the VOD anywhere, if you have it separate, let us know. Or I can grab links. They were they were good panels. I got to watch a couple. Oh, y'all still fighting this whatever it is? Torgal. What do you mean you can't hear me? You can't hear me at all, or was just the game too loud? Oh, okay. I was worried something broke my audio. Because <laughs> these headphones, on occasion, will just go to sleep, even when I'm wearing them. Okay. Um, tell Frank I have captions if he wants to w turn those on. I keep captions on on my stream, so. My God, I keep having to come back here. Yeah, we gotta get Frank on captions. I know he's on a two PC setup, but we gotta get him captions. Apparently, M Mandy. Oh, Mandy, did you still need headphones? I forget, or did you finally buy some? Um, I can send him a couple things, depending on what he wants to do and how his audio is set up. Um, Gooseman codes might be good because then people can turn them on and off. I mean, OBS has them too. But Gooseman gives you a bit more control over where the captions appear. Oh, okay, then that's the email I have, Laura. Thank you. Quinton. I'll have to go. Yeah, so Gooseman codes, it's a simple add-in, and you can have them on or off. I'm using them now. And even though I'm on my console, my headset is picking them up. Um, I had to look for it, but I've got... I've got um, a thread of captioning options. That's not the only option out there.
Alright, have a good dinner. Thanks for coming in and raiding, y'all. I appreciate it. Thanks again, winner. And tell Frank thank you. Hey, Leoncito. Now I ask because I've got, I unearthed headphones brand new in the box, Mandy, that I have not even opened. If only we'd arrived earlier. I have some Astro A50s that I haven't even opened, but they're specifically for the PS4 slash PS5. So I'm basically gonna be like, do you need headphones? Do you need a keyboard? Do you need a mouse? I begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear. Jesus, Quentin. That's what I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans. Building a haven in Lostwing. Freeing bearers from their chains. <laughs> it was all for this. But what is this? Justice, my faithful comrades, all those lives lost. Wow. Quentin. I thought I was going to finish this today. Oh, thank Grieka you're safe. I don't know if I am. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to warn you about that, that thing. And I hate it. Oh my god. It's been flooded. What? With water or ether? This is not very Final Fantasy music. Uh, usually in the mornings before I log into work, so like 7 or 8 central to about 10, 10.30. Because I log in at 11 a.m. my time. I must have stolen in after we left. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool. Uh, it depends. I feel like this one's shorter. Cause there's some. F I've never finished a couple of the Final Fantasies. Come on, Torgal. We need to make this quick. I've heard Torgal. I'd say I've given this about 30, 40 hours, maybe total. This is my, I'm counting the sessions. And I streamed about four hours this morning. So I'm feeling like. I'm going the wrong way. Good job, me. Uh, a lot of the other ones are very long. I know the boss fight on this is long, so I would say if we're not at it by 8 o'clock, then I may not finish this today on stream.
I watched uh, Pro Quesadilla finish, and the fight, the last fight is a lot. healing them who's healing you you motherfucker Yeah, but I've spent way more on other Final Fantasy games. I think it just depends on how much side questing you do, honestly. I've gotten kind of sidetracked today with side quests. If I had just gone straight through and ignored side quests... Probably be closer to the final boss fight. Fine, Quentin. Man, fuck Quentin. Why are we concerned with finding this dude at all? Quentin. Quentin. Look at me. I'm going to get you out of here. Are we? Oh yeah, every time I talk to someone, can you go get this plant that's like a hundred feet away? I really need it and I, I'm too scared to go out by myself and you have a sword and I don't. At a certain point, fetch quests annoy me. to the land of the living is lost wing the flood has filled the valley I see then all is at an end a strange way to achieve one's life's ambition no master Quinton save your strength why the man is covered in blood All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. Wow! You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. Well! I thought you weren't coming back. I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the one to do this, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't. So long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Mm, that don't mean anything, kid. <clears throat> Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. 
One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns, a nation even. What's to stop us? That's no. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. Could we get him out of these bloody clothes, though? Like, these bloody clothes, man. Have you got your revenge? Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. <laughs> and more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. There are parts of this where I definitely feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV. Like the old Final Fantasies were like hundred hour affairs. Easily. Clive. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I'd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Oh, Cinder, how'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah, uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. Oh, good. Then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me. We should have never told him that. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, about to put Zoltan back in his place. Yeah, I don't think, even if- Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. I don't think we're gonna get to it unless I step like one in the morning. And the controllers are not gonna last that long. Nor will I. 
last that long. Oh, Ouroboros recipe is updated. There's supposed to be another queer couple quest in here, and I have not found it. Why is Auric Halcom in every video game? And? If it's knowledge you see. Ten thousand gil. Thank goodness you're back. Toya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? <sighs> Would you all mind if I did not finish this tonight because I don't know if I'm going to make it much longer? To give a patient Alicia, but... Sometimes... I really thought I'd be... I would finish this tonight. I think we're going to raid DJ. Well, I thought I I thought I was closer to the end. I really thought I was much closer to the end. And I'm all like I don't know what it is about this game, but it makes me so sleepy. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I just thought I was much closer to the end of the game than I turns out I was. I don't know why I'm like tired is hitting me and it's only seven o'clock. I didn't even get up particularly early. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigo. Uh Nestor, can you try to sneakily see how much longer DJ is gonna be on? It'll be my luck. We'll raid him and then he en he's ending because he's actually over his usual time. Back in the Southern Isles. On the front lines of some mean... He's only been on a couple hours. Still a chance when they ship me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. Excuse me. Hmm. You know 
as well as I what life is like for a bear soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift give the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends Got it. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change. Uh, then let's help him with those sponsor numbers. As soon as this cutscene's done. I know if I go do the airship stuff, it's going to be major. Oh, I wasn't expecting to be so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. Come again. I may have more for you. No worries, we, I'm about to hit the, the raid. Now watch, I sit in my office and I'm finally awake. But this is taking way longer than I expected. I have to remember to actually close the game when I'm done. Thanks, I'm gonna crash soon-ish, but not right now, it's only seven. But let's raid the homie DJ, cause he was kind enough to raid me last night. And if it's a sponsor stream, let's get those numbers. Valistea. I might be on tomorrow. I might not, because I've done two streams two days in a row. So, But let's go see what DJ's doing in Ratchet and Clank. Uh, thank you again for hanging out. Thanks for all the mods. And uh, if I don't stream tomorrow, I may stream Friday or Saturday. Because uh, I got plans tomorrow night. So see you all later. Bye.